thoughts on the recent uh, fusion breakthrough? Yeah, so it's done Lawrence Livermore. I knew Ed Moses, who's the former director. Um, it's called the National Ignition Facility. So basically, you have this big sphere, and it's got a little target chamber in it. And it's got this little gold target, and it's called a holorom. And it's got this little pellet that's filled with deuterium. And they have this gargantuan laser battery, and it focuses all the lasers to hit the walls of the holorom. And that creates a humongous amount of X-ray bombardment on the little pellet, and it gets a few hundred times denser than lead, and it crushes in on itself and forms a fusion reaction. And then all these particles flow out, and they create something that can generate lots of electricity through um, heat transfer. So um, it's a, a really intriguing idea. And NIF, for a long time, they call that ignition, was searching for that. And uh, Bill Clinton was the guy who signed the bill back in the 1990s to build it. Took about 10 years to build it. It's the most advanced laser battery, 63 gigawatts of lasers. Uh, and the fact that they've achieved it means that they actually can start building these plants uh, probably in a 10 to 20 year time horizon. Uh, you have to put a lot of these whole ROMs in, maybe 60 per second, um, or, or, or I think per minute. I can't remember the exact uh, frequency that it's at. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of work you need to do to extract all that energy. Uh, so they created something called LIFE, the laser inertial fusion engine, which is a hybrid reactor. Uh, but overall, it's a major breakthrough. It's a very different type of technology than what the Europeans are doing with ETIR, uh, which is a tokamak design. Uh, and overall, it's actually my favorite type of fusion because it's a very American way of doing things, shooting lasers at something until it, it gives you what you want.